Oxidation of alcohols. Well, I think we'll start off with a primary alcohol. Let's start off with ethanol. Now, I'm not going to join the hydrogens because I'm an assistant examiner, but I'm afraid you have to, or I'll take a point off. O in square brackets means oxidation, and one of the definitions of oxidation is uh, removing hydrogen. And so this hydrogen and that hydrogen are both removed, turning the alcohol into an aldehyde. Now, you can continue cooking up your alcohol with the oxidant, and that aldehyde if it's oxidized again, will turn into a carboxylic acid. And another definition of oxidation is adding oxygen. And you can see there's an O added there for oxygen. So ethanol turns to ethanol, an aldehyde. And if you carry on, that ethanol will turn to ethanoic acid, which is a carboxylic acid. For secondary alcohols, it's a little simpler. Just a one process here. So if you take propentuol and oxidize it, well, just like before, these two hydrogens are kind of removed, and then you just drop that bond down, like we did before, and that turns an alcohol into a ketone. So propentuol into propanone. You don't need to say propentuone. It, it has to be propentuone, propanone. The double bond, though, has to be in the middle. And you're thinking, okay, let's carry on oxidizing it. No, 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 you, you couldn't add an OH here. That's not going to work. It, it worked last time. You'll have a pentavalent carbon. That's not possible. So this process stops at the ketone. A very quick summary. So a primary alcohol goes to an aldehyde, goes to a carboxylic acid. If you oxidize them, the, oxidation, uh, the oxidizer is acidified dichromate, and it goes from orange to green. You can drink alcohol, and that might make you a little bit happy or a little bit dizzy. But then your body metabolizes it to the aldehyde, and that's what makes you really, really sick. It's the aldehyde. It's the ethanol that's nasty. And then that metabolizes to carboxylic acid, and that's fine. Your body can deal with that. No trouble. So your body's a little oxidation factory here. As a reminder, for the secondary alcohol, that turns into a ketone. Secondary alcohol turns into a ketone. Well, what about a tertiary alcohol? Well, the syllabus says no reaction with acidified dichromate. And that's true. Uh, but you could burn it if you wanted to oxidize it. But that's a little bit of a cheat by burning it in oxygen. But they asked that once.